Welcome back to the Jack Racing YouTube channel. It's time to paint. Got some spray paint here. Got the car very crudely taped. Parked on some old tarp. Got some tires holding it in place because there's no e-brake left. Well, let's make this car change colors. I was so close. I almost had it done and I ran out of paint with just that little tiny bit left on the front. So now I've got to get one more little can of paint to hit those tiny spots, but the rest of the car is done. Here's what it looks like. Still not the prettiest car ever, but at least it's the right color. That's okay. It'll probably get some dings and dents on it here and there through the year. Now that the black's all dry, it's time to put the design on. I changed my mind a little bit. The whole front here is now going to be red. Come in, do a little lightning bolt down here, and then we'll put a big double zero right here. I wanted to leave this part open for lettering. I wanted to leave some space for the contingency decals up here, and I wanted some space on the hood for some sponsors too. So this is going to be the best of both worlds. It'll be a nice pop design, and it will help leave room for sponsors. Right here is just a little test spot I did. I like the way the red and the white pop, so I'll cover that up. Put the rest of the design on with some tape real quick and go for it. This is not going to be a professional job. It's going to be a quick, good enough job since it is just a race car. So, here we go. If anyone needed to look up the definition of bare minimum, I think they would just see a picture of this. Got some protection on the floor so I don't paint the floor a different color. And I covered the windshield up. There's some tape on the side that kind of looks like the shape I wanted it to be. And a quick little sand. Pick the ugliest part of the car to show you, but either way, this is going to work. Okay, here's what we got. I like the way the red looks on the black. It'll obviously look a lot better once the tape is peeled off and there's going to be some white edging around it. So that will really make it pop and clean up the lines a little bit. But for a 10 minute job and a couple of dollars on spray paint, I'll take it. Alright, it's later in the day. Time to take the tape off and see what we got. Done wrapping your Christmas present. Good thing I bought some touch-up paint. It's going to need it in a couple of spots.
say that's good enough. It will look a little cleaner once there's a nice little white stripe right down here, but I think that will do the job. Now that this is all dry, it's time to come over here. I'm gonna put this white spray paint into this tray, put it on the brush, and then paint a little line around here because I don't trust myself to do it with spray paint and make it look clean. So, dollar brush, let's see if we can make it work. Here it is, all done. Tape's peeled off. Edging on the red is done. Turned out okay for just a dollar paintbrush and some spray paint, I'd say. Not sure what I want to do yet for numbers. I might just order some vinyl because I think if I try and paint them, it might not look that great. So I'm going to go research vinyl, see what that costs. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. There's a little bit of overspray in some places, a couple of spots that aren't quite perfect, but for its purpose I think it will do just fine I might put some new side windows in these are just kind of beat up and the paint doesn't match thanks for watching like comment subscribe see you next time